Hi everyone, this is Bob Wolotka with U.S. Realty Training here today to share with you 25 questions that you will likely see on your New York real estate exam. If you like the information that we're sharing, be sure to check out the U.S. Realty Training New York State Exam Prep Package. It has eBooks, it has more test questions, it has video explanations, and all the tools that you will need to make sure that you pass your New York Real Estate Exam. All right, let's get on to the first question. The principle in a real estate transaction is the a broker. B, client, C, customer, or D, prospect? The correct answer is B, the client. The principal in a real estate transaction is the party who hires the agent. It can be the seller, buyer, landlord, or tenant who becomes the client once they are hired. So remember, principal equals client. Dual agency, A, can be oral or written, B, can only be created intentionally, C, is illegal in New York, or D, results in a conflict of interest. The correct answer is D, results in a conflict of interest. Because a broker and a dual agency relationship represents both the buyer and the seller, the broker is unable to put both clients' interests above the others, thereby resulting in a conflict of interest for the broker. A homeowner is very upset over a drone that a neighbor flies over his house. He takes his case to court to end the possible violation of rights. Does he have a case and on what basis? A, no, the neighbor is not physically on his property. B, no, the drone is in the air so he cannot exercise any surface rights. C, yes, the owner has the right to stop the encroachments. Or D, yes, the drones infringe on his air rights. The correct answer is D, yes, the drones infringe on his air rights. Air rights apply to the space above the surface boundaries of the parcel as delineated by imaginary vertical lines that extend to infinity. Since the advent of aviation, property owners' air rights have been curtailed to allow aircraft to fly over one's property, provided the overflights do not interfere with the owner's use and enjoyment of the property. The issue of violation of air rights for the benefit of air transportation is an ongoing battle between aircraft owners, airlines, airports, and nearby property owners. An agent receives a full price offer from a minority party. The agent presents the offer to the seller and discloses the buyer's minority status. The seller at that point instructs the agent to inform the buyer that the property has just gone under contract. The agent duly complies, telling the offerer, that's the buyer, that the home has just been temporarily removed from the market and is unavailable, but may be available soon if that contract falls through. Which party or parties, if any, have violated fair housing laws? A, the agent only, B, the owner only, C, the agent and the owner, or D, neither agent nor owner. The correct answer here, C, the agent and the owner. The owner has illegally discriminated and the agent, by going along with the owner, is equally guilty of violating fair housing laws. When a commercial lease has an escalation clause, meaning the landlord can raise the rent if uh, their costs go up, the tenant's proportionate share of the cost increase is determined by using the following formula. A, tenant usable area minus rentable area. B, tenant rentable area divided by building gross rentable area. C, building gross rentable area divided by number of rented areas. Or D, building gross rental area minus tenants usable area. The correct answer is 
B, tenant rentable area divided by building gross rentable area. When determining a tenant's proportionate share of increased operation costs, the tenant's space percentage of gross rentable area of the entire building is used by dividing the tenant's rentable area by the building's gross rentable area. The Rent Act of 2015, A, changed the method for calculating rents on vacancy leases, B, administers rent control on properties within New York City, C, monitors rent stabilization on properties outside New York City, or D, limits a tenant's income while leasing an apartment. The correct answer is A, change the method for calculating rents on vacancy leases. The Rent Act of 2015, which was effective June 15, 2015 through June 15, 2019, changed the method for calculating rents on vacancy leases by allowing landlords to request the unit's rent control or stabilization be removed based on the tenant's income or vacant unit's registered rent. An apartment building that recently sold for $400,000 had monthly gross rent receipts of $3,200. What is its monthly gross rent multiplier? A, 80. B, 0 0.01. C, 110. Or D, 125. Got some math here, folks. The correct answer is D, 125. Keep in mind the formula for a gross rent multiplier is the sales price or the purchase price divided by the monthly rent. Therefore, 400,000 divided by 3,200 equals 125. Which of the following statements is true regarding the purpose of public and private control of land? A, the purpose is to decrease property values. B, the purpose is to assure the highest and best use of property. C, the purpose is to assure the preference of individual property rights over the public good. Or D, the purpose is to allow continued growth regardless of infrastructure capabilities. The correct answer, B, the purpose is to assure the highest and best use of property. The purpose of public and private control of land is the preservation of property values, assurance of the highest and best use of property, the balance of individual property rights with public good, and the control of growth within infrastructural, infrastructure capabilities. Typically, when you see highest and best use, that's probably the right answer. Which of the following items should clients remove or secure for an open house? A, family photos. B, large televisions. C, toys. Or D, expensive jewelry. The correct answer is D, expensive jewelry. To prevent valuables such as jewelry from potential theft during an open house, the agency should advise the client to remove or secure items prior to the house showing. On a personal note, also have them secure their prescription drugs. Doing an open house, I've actually had those stolen, unfortunately. And definitely leave the toys out because the kids that people bring in with them, they're going to love them. A priority lien resulting from non-payment of taxes is enforced by A, court-ordered sale of the property, B, fines up to 10% of the property's assessed value, C, imposition of an equalization factor, or D, imposition of a special assessment on the property. The correct answer is A, court-ordered sale of the property. Non-payment of property taxes results in a priority lien on the property enforced by a court-ordered sale of the property. So pay your property taxes. Who handles the mortgage loan application and approval? A, the mortgage banker. B, the mortgage broker. C, the borrower. Or D, all of the above. The correct answer is B, the mortgage broker. Mortgage brokers find lenders and loans for borrowers, handle loan application and approval, and charge a fee for their services.
When a salesperson holds licenses under multiple brokers, it's called A, illegal licensure, B, unsponsored practice, C, split licensure, or D, dual licensure. The correct answer is D, dual licensure. When a broker holds multiple New York licenses or a salesperson holds licenses under multiple brokers, it's called dual licensure. Effective gross income is determined by A, subtracting the operating expenses from the potential gross income, B, adding rents and revenues, C, subtracting debt service and reserves from the net operating income, or D, subtracting uncollected rents, vacancies, and evictions from the potential gross income. The correct answer is D, subtracting uncollected rents, vacancies, and evictions from the potential gross income. To determine the effect of gross income, rents and revenues are combined to total the potential gross income. The uncollected rents, vacancies, and evictions are subtracted from that total to equal the effective gross income. An actual eviction, A, requires a 60-day notice to the tenant, B, can only occur when the tenant fails to pay rent, C, requires a New York State court order to remove the tenant, or D, occurs when the tenant voluntarily moves out of the unit. The correct answer is C, requires a New York state court order to remove the tenant. An actual eviction occurs only when the landlord obtains a New York state court order to remove the tenant for failure to comply with the terms of the lease. Home buyer Janet pays $1,600 a month for the interest only loan on her new house. The loan's interest rate is 6.75%. If she obtained a 75% loan to value, or in other words, put 25% down, what was the purchase price? Here we go, it's math time, get those calculators out. Answer A, $313,333. B, $31,604. C, $379,259, or D, $256,000? The correct answer is C, $379,259. Here's how we got there, folks. Get ready. The annual interest paid is 1,600 times 12, or 19,200. Okay, we've got the annual interest. The interest rate is 6.75%. Using the formula that the loan equals the interest divided by the rate. So the loan amount or the interest paid is 19,200 divided by 6.75. That comes out to $284,444. Since this is 75% of the price, then the price would be $284,444 divided by 0.75, getting to 379,259. Congratulations, you did math. A designated agent is a A, subagent, B, single agent, C, cooperative agent, or D, dual agent. The correct answer? B, single agent. Within a dual agency, the broker may assign one sales agent to the seller and another sales agent to the buyer. The broker remains the dual agent, but the designated sales agents are single agents, each with the duty of undivided loyalty to their clients. The type of agency wherein the principal uses a power of attorney to empower the agent to perform actions the principal delegates to the agent is a a universal agency b limited agency c special agency or d general agency the correct answer is a universal agency in a universal agency the principal uses a power of attorney 
to empower the agent to perform any and all actions that may legally be delegated to an agency representative. A mortgage lien is A, involuntary, general, superior, B, involuntary, specific, junior, C, voluntary, general, superior, or D, voluntary, specific, junior. The correct answer is D, voluntary, specific, junior. Liens are either voluntary or involuntary, general or specific, superior or junior. Mortgage liens are voluntary, specific, and junior in that they are specific to a house and inferior or junior as to the order in which they are satisfied. A duplicate set of property records, which are maintained by a private company, such as a title company, are called a A, chain of title, B, cloud on the title, C, title plant, or D, abstract of title. The correct answer, C, title plant. A chain of title shows the successive property owners from the original grant to the present, unrecorded claims result in a cloud on the title, and an abstract of title is written chronologically of recorded owners, transfers, and encumbrances. However, a title plant is a duplicate set of property records that are maintained by a private company. Which of the following statements is true? A. RESPA prohibits discrimination in lending based on protected classes. B, RESPA requires lenders to provide the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau closing disclosure five days before loan execution. C, borrowers of federally related loans must obtain flood insurance if property is in designated flood hazard area. Or D, under the ECOA, applicants who are denied a loan must be notified of the denial within 45 days. The correct answer, C, borrowers of federally related loans must obtain flood insurance if property is in designated flood hazard areas. The National Flood Insurance Act requires borrowers of federally related loans to obtain flood insurance if the property is located in a designated flood hazard area. Flood zone maps are available that include where flood hazard areas are located. Regulation Z implements which of the following laws? A, Equal Credit Opportunity Act. B, Real Estate Settlement Procedures. C, Truth in Lending Simplification and Reform Act. Or D, National Flood Insurance Act? The correct answer, C, Truth in Lending Simplification and Reform Act. Regulation Z implements the Truth in Lending Simplification and Reform Act and the Consumer Credit Protection Act and requires lenders to disclose finance charges and APR prior to closing. A school built in an area zoned as residential is an example of a, an amendment, B, eminent domain, C, a special exception, or D, an illegal non-conforming use. The correct answer, C, a special exception. A special exception occurs when the use of the property is not consistent with the zoning ordinance for that area, but the use is allowed to continue if it is clearly beneficial or essential to the public welfare and does not materially impair other uses in the same zone. Examples would be a school built in a resi residential zone or a hospital built in an industrial zone. John Chestnut is a commercial builder who is building a 10 unit apartment building within an area zoned for single family residential homes. Which of the following statements is true? A. The apartment building is an example of legal non-conforming use. B. The apartment building will be allowed as a variance to the existing zoning ordinance. C. The apartment building will be considered a special exception to the area's existing zoning ordinance. 
Or D, the apartment building is an example of an illegal non-conforming use. The correct answer is A, the apartment building is an example of legal non-conforming use. When John builds the apartment building in an area strictly zoned for single-family residential homes, the apartment building will be an illegal conforming use that conflicts with the single-family residence ordinance currently in place. The design purpose of a planned unit development, or PUD, is to A, accommodate demand for services and infrastructure, B, safeguard public health, safety, and welfare, C, achieve optimum space efficiency and maximize open space, or D, incorporate community consensus. The correct answer, C, achieve optimum space efficiency and maximize open space. PUD or PUD zoning restricts use to development of whole tracks for residential, commercial, industrial, or any combination. In doing so, PUD's design purpose is to achieve optimum space efficiency and maximize the open space. When a property owner tells a real estate agent not to show the property to buyers of certain ethnicities and the agent goes along with that, who is liable for the anti-discrimination law violation? A, the owner, B, the agent, C, neither owner or agent, or D, both owner and agent. The correct answer, of course, D, both owner and agent. Unless the property being shown qualifies as a legal anti-discrimination exception, both the owner and the agent will be liable for discrimination practices because both are violating the law and the owner by restricting the buyer's ethnicity and the agent by going along with it. Termite extermination and damage repair must be done by A, a construction contractor, B, an EPA employed contractor, C, a pest control specialist, or D, an appropriately licensed professional. The correct answer is D, an appropriately licensed professional. Termite extermination and damage repair is to be done by a New York State Department of Environmental Conservation licensed professional. And that covers 25 questions from the New York real estate exam. Again, if you like what you saw, be sure to check out the exam prep package that we have in the description below. And before you go, if you really want to be ready to pass that test, check out this video right here. It's fantastic. You're going to love it.